Welcome back to the channel. So today we have uh, a project that I've been meaning to get done and get done and get done. So hopefully I can get it done today. It might take two days, I'm not sure. But we have a load of fish from last summer that we caught and it's getting on that time of year. We're middle of January, February, and I wanna build a smoker. It's time to get some smoked fish and get th some things smoked up so we make room in the freezer for next summer's fish. So it's time to build another smoker and see what I can do. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna build a smoker, and what we've got is some shiplap, one by sixes, and then two by twos. Okay, so the smoker design that we're gonna be building is an outhouse design that will be approximately six foot tall, two foot by two foot, maybe a little more. I have expanded metal that is a two foot by two foot square to use as shelving in the smoker, and then I'm gonna use a uh, propane burner as the source of heat for creating the smoke and of course the heat to cook whatever meat. So we're going to be building a frame out of the two by twos and so that will kind of create the the skeleton of the outhouse and then we'll just use the <clears throat> shiplap one by sixes to sheathe the outside and then I'm not sure what we'll do for a roof but uh, create the door and so we'll see how it comes together. Now I'm thinking here about the shelves that are gonna go in there. I've got expanded metal that are two foot by two foot, and I'm gonna put a frame around them of wood, and those will slide in to set your, pro your meat on or whatever you're gonna smoke. So I need to make sure that this is, the cabinet is big enough to fit that. So I'm thinking, I just gotta figure out some measurements here, but I'm thinking, 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 thinking. After thinking about it, I think what I'm going to do is take the shelving material, the, the two foot by two foot expanded metal, and build the shelves first. That way I kind of know those dimensions and I can build the cabinet around the shelving. Because what I'm going to do is take the expanded metal and then use two by two, the, some of the two by twos here to build a frame around that metal to give it some rigidity. And then uh, it'll slide in and out on some kind of rails. And I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. We wait Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy I'm gonna go a little deeper. So we're gonna go. There's one rack. Oh, foo, 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 foo. my hands are frozen. All right, we got the first shelf built. That's perfect, it's 26 and a quarter. 
We're gonna build the cabinet. Build the cabinet to fit. Side number two.
Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your head You can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count on you Come on now and take my hand Okay, so I cut a few two by fours or a couple uh, two by fours, at, and they're going to act as the shelf rails. The wood, the uh, shelving that I built has got to sit on something, and I designed it so that it will sit. I designed it to sit inside the space here, so I needed something stuck out more. And I'll put these two by fours in here. They're serving two purposes. They are going to be the slides or the shelves that the trays sit on and then they're also going to be give me more support for the boards on the inside everything will be screwed and i've got i'm gonna have three of those going down like that and we'll see how that works out Well, it's uh, I didn't get as far as I was hoping. Here's what I've got now. You can see right here. So I gotta get the roof on. I gotta get the door on. What's holding me up here is it is negative six degrees today and it is cold. I'm having to go in and out of the house to work and uh, I need to get this video edited for you guys so you can see it in the morning. So what I'm going to do is break this into two parts. And I'm going to get you out what I've got so far. And then I'm going to put another video out as quickly as I can um, when I finish it. So hopefully I'll have two videos out, maybe another video this weekend. So anyways, 
That's all I've got for you. You guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.